Hello guys, you have chosen Player Unknown's Battleground. Actually, I want to draw this guy for you, but there are already several videos of him, so I have decided to turn him into a woman. We start with the technical pen. In the future I will make a video about proportions, but on this video we are focused on coloring and blending. And don't forget to make guidelines and another layer. I forgot it again. Finished! Doesn't look so bad. Now we can start coloring. Recreate the new layer and we use the inking pen to paint the sketch. It is important that you create multiple layers, so you get separation of the different color areas. Afterwards it is easier to blend and shade. If you are finished with the coloring, we will start with the shading. Here it is important to lock the layer. If the layer is locked, you cannot paint over the colored areas. That makes it a lot easier. With the color picker, I choose the main color and make it lighter or darker. For the shading, I also use the inking pen. I take care that I reach at least three different brightness levels, so later it appears more three-dimensional. With the blending brush, the brush is only called blending, I mix the shades. But I also blend with the smudge web brush. With this brush you can create a great textile effect. With the tattoo anchor you can create a great wood or metallic effect. I also use the tattoo anchor for the hair.
When you are done with the shading and blending, you have to get rid of the lines. I will show you how to make these lines disappear. There are two ways. The first way is in my last video about the flower. You will find the link in the info box. The second option works like this. First you lock the line layer. Now you can only draw on the lines. Then you choose the right color and paint along the lines. So the lines will disappear. You can also reopen the line layer after painting and blur the lines with the blending brush. When you are finished with the line layer, you can add more details with the tattoo anchor. With the flower brush you can improve the shadows. I also do a little explosion in the background with the salty watercolor brush and the smudge web brush. With the glow brush I add a glow effect that always looks great. With the color balance you can still change the color of your picture if you want. Of course all layers have to be connected before. That's it! Looks really not bad. Great! I hope I could help you, goodbye.